Alrighty guys, it's WeFire88 here with another video and I figured I'd bring something different to the channel. What you see here are a bunch of uh, retired uh, golf carts, or at least four of them. Uh, they've been kind of gutted, um, or and I've been taking stuff off of these because I've got a golf cart of my own. Let's see, what we got... Now I think what models these are, that's a G2, this is a G9. And that's a G9, but really these two here are the same thing as that G2, um, G9. I could not talk tonight. But, yeah. Then we got a club car here, an older one, because of the steering wheel and the cup holders. But, um, yeah, I figured I'd show these off. It's like golf cart graveyard at the, my local dump here. And, um, yeah, I figured I'd show these um, off before they go to junk eventually, or the actual junk. This is a, this one's a G9, as I said before. It's got really shitty looking, oh, that's messy down there. And actually, I need to, I need to find more of these. I'm actually going to steal that off there so I can not steal it off, but take it. Yeah, I got a, I got the okay that I could take stuff off of these these Yamahas. I don't have a club car, but this um, these G nines and G twos is what the G two is what I have, which is that there with the see the cup holders there. See, they're more these look different. So this is a G nine and that's a G two. Anyway, I've been taking stuff off this one. This one had a roof, and I uh, took it off here like a few weeks ago. But, um, because my other one was kind of garbage, and this one was pretty good, so. <coughs> That's good. Looks like somebody tried to sit, take that thing off there. See that? It worked terribly. Uh, it looks like somebody removed all the shocks, too. Dang. Extra dove now. Got a spark plug in there. We got all kinds of junk. Can and whatever. Steering wheel's gone. I actually took this, took the steering wheel, too. Because it's black and uh, mine is white. And I figured I'd get change it up a little bit. Just in case. That's kind of what kind of air filter is that? There's the bumper that goes over that, and usually when I see these all taken off, this is all bent. That bumper is bent, bent in. Still got its belt on here. Oh yeah, that's locked up. Clutch still moves out, in and out though. Oil cap's missing. Kind of air filter is this? Or pod filter? K and N. No way. I'm not gonna take it, but figured that'd be cool. And that also might be why it's here, because it's exposed or whatever. I'm not really sure about that, but I mean, yeah, you could do. I mean, that might, that might not actually be the reason why this thing's here. It probably is just here because of how rotted out this thing is. Like, look at this. seat frames run it out there's supposed to be a splash pan right where my foot is right there and that's all gone and that's supposed to be the oh battery holder and that's gone somebody took the back end off of this so it wasn't me but yeah close this up just so then I bent it This is an older club car, as I said before. Been painted blue. Used to be tan. That one's still got the drive belt or the, the starter motor belt. This is the that that bigger belt that would go there would be the V belt. It doesn't seem like it's locked up. It's 
move and it'll see that. That's kind of good. This thing, these older ones have got huge mufflers. Look at that. Huge muffler. There's more of the engine. Gas tank, battery still here. Fuel filter. Backrest is taken out. There's one of the backrests there. But yeah, it's an older design. It's an older one. You can tell because of the cup holders. But oh yeah, are these fender flares? No. No, that's actually to the cart. I thought those were fender flares for a minute. So yeah, there's that one. G9 and this club car. I have no idea what model these are. If someone could tell me, that'd be great. All right, here's this other G9. This one has a uh, modified bed on it. Looks like some kid has been to the seat on this one since the last time I was here. Same exhaust as that other one over there. Yeah, I took that apart because I was looking at the air filter because I needed a new one, seeing if it was good or not, and it's not. It's actually uh, bad, and I'll show you it here in just a minute. Oh, it's still got this one's got the drive belt too. Oh, oh it's still it still turns, so that means it's not locked up. The spark plug uh, thing is gone. The champion spark plug. Man, those crows really need to shut the fuck up. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got a square fuel pump right there on the gas tank, which is kind of unusual. It's been disconnected to the tank. But yeah. Yeah, I got the okay from the uh, guy who runs these and who's dropped these off here that I could take stuff off of these like at the beginning of spring. So I've been doing that. I'm actually here, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this off right now if I can. I need that for my uh, fuel line. Um, yeah, I am actually here to steal the mats out of this one because they're in way better shape than mine. Took the ignition out of it because that was also good. Shift remove. Oh no, that thing's locked. Yeah. Yeah, these are really cheap. Look at that. Cheap. Got the one headlight. Had two headlights and somebody took them, not me. But yeah. Wait, I was going to show you that. To... Oh yeah, this is the most... Um... Jeez, those crows are going to town. No, they just flew away. But anyway. <sighs> that is probably the most like trailer park shit I've ever seen on a golf cart. <laughs> like golf carts are air-cooled. And they added a fucking dryer vent. So then it would help cool the engine off. I mean, that's kind of smart, but you could have done something that looks a little more professional. <laughs> Again. Oh. Some, oh, there's oil at the bottom of that. Yeah, that's not good. Probably overfilled it, over it with oil, in my guess. The seat frame's in way better shape than the other one. I only close these halfway because they latch. Like a hood thing, and that's the thing right there that goes around the filter. And it's got a lift kit too, which is kind of nice. That's the front of that one. And uh, there's the front of that one. This one's destroyed. Yeah. Destroyed front. Here's the front of that one, just in case you're curious again. Here is this one. This one's probably got the most 
the worst amount of rust I've ever seen on one of these. Like, that's just mint. You got wiring all over the place. The, few, the oil lights burnt out. That's what happens when you uh, have a golf cart out here on the island for many years. I, this one doesn't have the belt only because I took it off um, the uh, starter motor belt. Only because I uh, needed a new one and mine was cracked very badly. As you can see, I think that still rocks forward. No, it doesn't. Carburetor cap is gone at the bottom here. This is the oil. That's good. You can go for a few more miles if you're to still fucking use it, of course, but. Yeah, so it's the V-belts. All the V-belts on these are missing. There's the air box. This one had a good air filter, like it was super clean, like they just changed it like before they junked it for some odd reason, which I don't know why you would, but. Had a super clean one and I put it, took it out of this one and put it into my. I mean, like it was so clean, like it was still like very white. Spark plug thing's gone too. I mean, and you know what the funny thing is? Oh yeah, I took the ignition switch out of this one too. Oh yeah, let's see. Actually, before I get to that, look at this. Rust. This is always seems to be the worst spot for, oh yeah, right through for rust to start. Make sure you don't want to get tetanus on this stuff because it will it's bad. Got green seat backs. Extra fancy. But um yeah. It's the engine of this one. This is a G2. Mind you, it has the different cup holders from that one over there and a white steering wheel. That's how you can tell the difference really. But in all respects they're the same thing. Oh yeah, and G9s don't have a um, oil light, which is kind of dumb. A low oil light. Um, yeah. Pretty sure that's all. Let you see these uh, floor pans. I just pulled this screwdriver out of my pocket. That's why I'm busted headlight. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. This thing had a good battery. And you know what? I took the battery, just in case. This one's front bumper is uh, still intact. This one also has a lift kit, kind of sick. Oh yeah, that's nice and flat. Also got some mowers here, just in case if you're interested. Craftsman, Honda, John Deere, Snappa. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, this thing had a good battery and I took it. Like, it held its charge for some... Like, they must have charged it and seeing if it would run and so they could drive it here. And it couldn't drive it here, so I think it had to be towed. And they left the battery, because... But I took the battery, because, you know... Man, that's bad. That is really bad. Rod right through. Yeah, I actually ripped these um, things out just so I could see how bad it was. I actually think one of them is around here somewhere. No, I guess not. So yeah, that is the uh, tour I'm uh, willing to show you of this golf cart graveyard. Got one club car and uh, three Yamahas. If you wanted a back seat for one of these, this one's still good. Except for it's sagging a little bit. And it's cracked right there too. Still good. Fuel door's missing like all, like they always do. But uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little tour of um, this golf cart graveyard that I have seen all summer and just never got a chance to make a video. Why would you, like, paint this? I mean, yeah, it looks cool, but, like, 
at least try to like make it so it lasts. I'm sure at the time this thing looked really cool. But um yeah. And it does still look kinda kinda cool. They tried to rice this thing out too. Rice it, you know. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh quick little video of this um golf cart graveyard that I'm showing you right now. Alright, I'll see y'all on the next one and uh yeah.